Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm talking about some beginner bonsai advice. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat. Anyways, a bonsai is usually a tree or a plant that has been kept to a smaller size than its normal size. So in this article you'll find beginner bonsai advice. Let's jump into it. The technique is making a bonsai uh, the technique to making a bonsai from a regular uh, is to or sorry pretty much if you want to make a regular tree a bonsai tree you regularly prune the tree every spring and repot it every two years i've covered this before it's one year two years three years maybe five years it really depends on the age species of the tree and everything just look up your specific species and all that all right this is to maintain its size and health and what uh and this is what every bonsai expert does now, if you want to learn how to trim, sculpt, and prune your bonsai, then make sure you go to bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. And it's my book, and you can find out more about it in the, well, if you actually just press it and go to the sales page, it tells all about what's in it. Now, more advice. When making a bonsai tree, make sure the pot you put it in is shallow and has one, uh, you know, just has more than one drain hole. The shallow pot showcases the plant better and also limits the growth of the plant while the drain hole keeps the roots free from stagnant water and keeps it from being uh, pretty much waterlogged and becomes rot. In connection to watering the dwarf tree, or a mini tree, the best bonsai advice is to keep the soil moist and not dry. Moist does not mean soaked. It means the soil contains some water, but it hasn't drained out due to the drain holes. If you keep water from the plant and ration it, it will be an unhealthy bonsai. Some plants need more or less water than others, so it's best to check out what your bonsai uh, needs. Other beginner bonsai advice is to proportion your pot with regards to your bonsai. You must always keep in mind to center your tree in the pot. This does not mean uh, to plant the trunk in the center, but it means to assess the entire plant and make the spread of the branches and leaves centered on the pot or in the pot. More beginner uh, bonsai advice is to prune the roots of the tree and the crown at least every two years. This is to keep the roots from overcrowding and to keep them growing in a small pot. Pruning the uh, crown or the leaves formation is in, uh, it, you know, helps with keeping the aesthetic value of the bonsai. Beginner bonsai advice for the winter season is to find ways to prevent your bonsai soil from freezing. Most bonsai are trees that can weather a winter. These hard, these hardy trees can uh, withstand cold temperatures well, but the miniature versions may have a hard time due to the frozen soil that cannot provide enough moisture. The clay pots they are planted in might also break due to the cold. Some more advice uh, for tropical bonsai is to keep them indoors during the winter month to ensure that they survive. They're not made for those temperatures. The tropical tea, uh, trees cannot stand the cold weather and may even die if they are placed near a closed window during the winter. So you have to keep an eye on that. Now that's just some bonsai advice. Again, go to my bonsai book if you actually want more in-depth stuff. So, in fact, I'm just going to click on it and I'll show you all uh, a little bit of the page. So it's talking about trimming, sculpting. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. So, did you know there's five styles of bonsai sculpting? Did you know whether the bonsai should be grown inside or outside? How to find which types of trees are best suited for bonsai? How to make a tree stay small? How to sculpt the tree to make it look like uh, your dream? There's so much more. So you have plant your tree, prune, trim, wire, repotting, how and when to water and fertilize, where and how to display your bonsai, taking care of outdoor bonsai in cold weather, and much more. So that's just a sample of what you can get in my bonsai book. And you can guess, uh, you can just, yeah, I mean, just look at the, link above if you want it and i'll be making more videos like this so make sure you comment and subscribe i've got tons of videos coming up tons of videos already put out so this is pretty good uh you know keeping at it just look at my consistency i've been pretty good at this anyways i'll see you in the next video